Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Friday met with his Lebanese counterpart Abdullah Abu Habib on the sidelines of the 79th session of the UN General Assembly. Lavrov expressed his condolences and solidarity with Lebanese people following recent deadly strikes. The two ministers discussed the situation in the Middle East and Israel strikes on Lebanon. Lavrov also held bilateral talks with Iranian Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi. Very interested to get your assessments. We wanted to, wanted to come in the brief view of what was happening on our. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and former President Donald Trump are meeting in New York amid rising questions about U.S. support for Ukraine. The GOP presidential nominee is facing accusations from his Democratic opponent Vice President Kamala Harris that he is advocating for Ukraine to surrender. Trump said Zelensky asked for the meeting at Trump Tower in New York. The meeting comes less than a day after Harris met with the Ukrainian leader and expressed unwavering support. Thank you very much. It's an honor to have the president with us. And he's been through a lot. He's been through a, a tremendous amount, like probably nobody else, almost nobody else in history, if you really get right down to it. And we're going to have a discussion and see what we can come up with. But a great honor to have you with Thank us. You so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you so much for this meeting. Five, five years plus. Yeah. So we have, yes. Uh, we had a meeting again here in New York in September, and now there are a lot of challenges, challenges in Ukraine and the United States. And of course, I want to, to discuss with you. Uh, I think where we are together, I think we have common view that the war in Ukraine has to be stopped and Putin can't win, and Ukrainians have to prevail, and I want to discuss with you the details of our plan of victory. I think it's me, or to both of us. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, it's very important to share, to share all the plan, all our steps, how we can strengthen Ukraine. And of course, we have to decide it now, because after November, we don't know who is, only Americans decide who will be the president. But we understand that till November, we can't stop Putin. We have to do it. We will try on the battlefield with our heroic soldiers. But we understand that after November, we have to decide. And we hope that the strength of the United States will be very strong and we count on it. That's why I decided to meet with both candidates with all of them. Thank you. Look, this is a meeting and we have a big race going on right now. I guess 37 days left, and we're leading in the polls, and so we'll see how it all works out. Hopefully it'll work out, but if it does, we're going to work very much with both parties to try and get this settled and get it worked out. Uh, it has to end at some point. It has to end. He's gone through hell, and this country has gone through hell like few countries have ever, uh, like it's happened anywhere. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. It's a terrible situation. I have a very good relationship, and I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly. Very well. I really think we're going to get it resolved. I hope we have more good relations. We're going to have. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. But, you, you, you but, you know, it takes two to tango, you know, and we will, uh, we're going to have a good meeting today. And I think the fact that we're even together today is a very good sign. And, Hopefully, uh, we'll have a good victory because uh, the other side wins. I don't think you're going to have victories with anything, to be honest with you. So we're going to sit down and just discuss it. And uh, if we have a, w a win, I think 
long before I, before January 20th, before I would take the presidency, it's January 20th, but long before that, I think that uh, we can work out something that's good for both sides. You want to go this way? Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Chris, thank you.